Morning, it's June 2nd, 828 AM. Uh, it's now 829 AM. The market's gonna open in one minute. I did trade yesterday. Um, I didn't record any of those trades, but um, I'll, I can show my um, trade history, my trade performance um, in a second. But the market's gonna open in a minute. We're looking at the NASDAQ. Um, we've kind of come up in this little uptrend here. Um, hit the top of the band. I'm looking at the one hour chart. We've come up from the bottom band up to the top band. We're now pushing off back down from the top band. We're negative delta, almost a thousand. Um, I am bearish on this. Um, I want to take a short um, right below the support area at 61, um, right on the open. I'll take a short uh, 61.50 there on this on this middle band on the five minute. So as soon as we break that middle band on the five minute. Um, we come out of support. I think this thing's going to drop down into this area, particularly with this negative delta. That'll just be a quick scalp. And we're in right now. Uh, came right down to it and just didn't take it, did it? Come on, get through there. Okay, we're going to close out on that. So there's 115 bucks on that. That, that should just be a quick scalp on it. Um, now it may pop back up and bounce around a little bit. We may drop down some more. There was some news um, overnight in the Middle East. Um, there's something going on in the Straits of Hormuz, which is going to affect markets. You can see buyers coming in down here. So I think we are going to be bearish. Yesterday was a lot of selling. These, uh, this candle right here, these two candles. Let's see if I can grab a pen. Um, It's not working. There it is. Uh, where is it? Here. This was yesterday's kind of open, these two big red candles. In the open, we chopped around a little bit. And then in the second, like from 9 o'clock to 10, we just dropped. Um, so I suspect that's what's going to happen again today, particularly as we're coming off this top band here. We're probably going to drop back down, down into here. I don't see anything in news that would keep pushing this up. And that stuff that's going on in the Middle East is just going to drive markets down. So we just took a quick scalp for 115. Um, yep, so we're just going to watch this thing a little bit more and see if any opportunities pop up. One thing I, one thing I can look at is our, our trades from yesterday. Um, yesterday was kind of an ugly day. Um, a lot of I was bullish on it and then it just kept dropping so um, if you look here I was going you know long I was buying 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 and it worked a little bit um, and then I actually switched over to trading micros um, because I took this loss here and I just wasn't sure I, I thought I was gonna keep going up but I thought we were gonna have um, a lot of chop so I took some micros and I held on to them thinking that we were going to keep pushing higher and the thing just kept dropping and I took big loss on micro for a micro it's a big loss but overall it was probably a good decision just to take that smaller trade then we got back in trade taking um, the regular mini contracts um, took some shorts shorts got a couple good shorts and then uh, I ended up looks like taking longs at the end um, and this was actually after 10:30, my normal cutoff time. I took these. Um, I think the market had pushed down a lot in those first couple hours, and then once the once the European session closed, um, we just saw you know we sold off, sold off, and then we just saw some buying coming in after Europe. Um, I thought the market was overall bullish, so I just I just took some longs on this, and we came out about 242.68 on the day. Um, it was pretty ugly though. There wasn't any like a great trade. It was just a lot of scalping. Um, so nothing to, to really um, brag about or re, you know report back on, but it was a green day, so I'll take it. All right, this thing's now pushing back up. We got Delta. Delta's still negative though. Moving higher. Um, I'll see how this this candle closes. We may want to come up to thirteen thousand seven hundred. It's looking bullish right now though. I'm glad I took my profit on this. I mean, it came within half a point. I think my profit was at 51. 
So it came with at 51.75. My, my take profit was at 51 even. Sellership coming in. So it needed to come down to the point, but this would have stopped me out on the bounce back. That's just how the chop is on the open. So let's see what's going on with it. I'll wait a little bit, um, sit on my hands, and see if a trade develops. So we just took this short here on the break. <clears throat> we saw price moving down, pull back, back into value area high with this low volume node going on up here. Um, and then we wanted to take a short on the break of the support. I tried to move my stop up to just, or my take profit just to the bottom of this band here. We're just gonna take like a, like a four or five point scalp. But um, I accidentally moved it up too high, and I released. I released it, so it was a bad exit on that. And um, my finger just twitched on the on the mouse, so we got out way too soon. I, sh I wanted to move it up to like 68.75, like right here, just to take this. It would have been. I think we got it at 74, so it would have been like five points on it. Um, and my finger, I moved it, and then my finger just let go. So that was a real shame. We missed that trade, but we'll. We'll keep watching um, and see what this thing's going to do. See if there's another opportunity. So we just took <clears throat> another trade there. Um, <clears throat> we saw price moving higher, delta's moving up. Um, we thought the price is gonna come up to the top of this band here on the five minute. 
um, which is right around 13,700. So we got out a little soon. We probably could have held this thing up to about here, um, but that's okay. We saw price kind of breaking out here. We broke into value area high. We broke past this LVN. So we've moved into another, you know, we're, we're just keep moving up here. I think it is going to come 13,700. We got 13,697, I think was my, or maybe it was up down here. Yeah, I think like right here we got out. So it was just a little five point scalp up at 266 on the day. And all that is is just, you know, price a little breakout up to a up to a um, resistance area and you know price is going to get sucked up to that the five minute looks pretty bullish up to the band this thing looks kind of like it's going to range i'd probably be looking to take shorts up here um and you know buy it somewhere down here um at value area low possibly i don't know if it's got enough gas delta is at negative 300 we're still negative on delta i don't think it's got really enough gas to really start trending one way or the other today um we can look at the four hour here where we've just been in this range i can blow this up we've just been in this range since it's like the 24th 20 uh may 20 the 23rd the 24th may 23rd 24th which was Let's see, last, last week, we've been ranging since last week, it's just all sideways, um, just move, moving, you know, so you short it up here, you buy it down here, right now we're right in the middle of it, but we've, we've come in, we tested the bottom of it down here, and now we're starting to move up, so you suspect that it's going to want to come up into this area um, before any real sellers, so I think any real sellers step in. Um, so, you know, you could probably, above 13,710, you could probably buy it up to 13,730. I'd probably be looking to get out, so you maybe get 15 points right there. Just try to capture um, some of this. <clears throat> but again, we're negative on Delta for today. Um, I don't know if it's going to have it in it today to get up here. It might be tomorrow. Um, I'll keep watching it. If we break highs and looks like we start trending up, um, and we look bullish, I may try to buy a, a pullback on the five minute. So if we, you know, if we break this high, price moves up, um, and then we get some sort of pullback on it. I can't even get this thing to come. I'll just do that, I guess. We break this high, we come up, and then we come back. We may retest this high and then move up. I would probably buy on a counter trend line break when this trend line right here breaks. I don't know if that's a good drawing or not, but that's probably your best bet on getting a, a real good trade out of this today. Uh, everything else is probably just going to be scalps, which is just what I've been doing today. It's what I did yesterday, too. It's just scalping. Um, it's hard to trade this thing, get a real good runner on it. Um, it's just ranging so much. It's almost like you've got to trade the extremes for scalps would be the way to trade it when price really gets to an extreme extreme you trade it the other way unfortunately that's not really how i trade i, I typically trade on um, support and resistance areas breaking or holding and price moving away from those um, so i'm not really one to you know watch this thing you know you know buy it or sell it right here it's not what i would do i would probably sell it as, uh, as we begin to break lower which is just my style of trading. I'm sure other people are, have better better ways of doing it. So I'm still going to keep watching this thing. We're at 266 on the day. The market conditions are just changing so much. It, you know, the momentum is really going away. I mean, we ranged all last week. So that's really uncommon for the NASDAQ, just to range like that. Um, so yeah, my next trade setup would probably be a break of this 13,710. We hold that price, we get a pullback, and then we buy the counter trend line break up, back up. So we'll see what happens. I'll fast forward through this, and uh, hopefully we get another setup um, within the next hour or so.
So we're watching the price here. Uh, we're moving down. We've come up, we've broken new highs, and now we're having a pullback on it. Um, I would be interested in buying this thing around 13,690, 13,685, right down here where I have this transparent box that I drew. Um, if we got a reversal candle coming off of this, it's the bottom of the, it's just an area of confluence. It's the bottom of the band on the one minute. We're also uh, near the middle band on the five minute and we're at this LVN, the support level here. Um, I suspect this thing will want to bounce off of this. This one minute candle is going to close in about 14 seconds. <clears throat> um, I'm wondering if this is going to be a bullish candle like that. Then you try to maybe <clears throat> buy it at 13,695, add to it on the break up back up above 700. Um, we've got a bullish structure going on on the delta. We're making higher lows on this higher lows higher highs we've come back into a support area it may want to come all the way down to 85 right down here which is the band um, i would like to see a little bit more bullish um, activity um, this one looked positive it looked like a good bullish bullish candle but we're breaking lower now i would like to have seen this candle on the one minute been, been like a more bullish candle um, so if we got something, I don't know if it's going to happen on this one. This one's looking pretty, pretty bad, pretty, pretty bearish. I shouldn't say bad, just bearish. Um, but this 13,685 level looks um, like a buy, possibly a buy. And this might be the last trade of the day. It's 10 o'clock, so hopefully it's a good one. Um, we've got a little downtrend line going on here. Uh, Delta is dropping now. Delta is now coming out of its bullish structure, but let's see. Let's see what happens. It's coming right to the middle band here. I'm going to move it. Oh, we're getting through it. Let's see if we close. It's got a minute. A minute 36 left on this five minute. Let's see where we close. Where we close on it. We're also coming down to value area low, which is down here at 13. So we've got profile shifting here. Profile's moving up. I'd be a buyer on this at 13.691, something like that, as we move back up here. It could also, this could just also be a bear structure forming. I mean, it could come down, come up, and then we come down again to value area low, which is somewhere down here. So you got to be careful with it. Um, I'm interested to see how this candle closes. If it closes below the band, I think we'll keep falling. If it closes up in a bullish, if it closes more like in a pin bar, I think we'll push up. But we're so close to the value area high here that I don't know. Um, Got a little bit of a downtrend line here on the five, um, 500 volume chart, which we could trade. Let's see what the 500 tick looks like. Yeah, we've got a lot of room here on the profile that we could still move through. This is the overnight volume profile. So I take this one with just kind of a grain of salt. I just use it to glance at it once in a while. Um, I don't know. I think back up above 13.9. You know, is it going to want to do a V bounce here where we just come down and we come back up? I don't know. So we did not close below the band, but it's not quite the uh, pin bar that I was looking for to take the trade back up. It would really be, you know, price starts moving below this. I'm going to get back in the 500 volume. We do have buyers coming in. This to me it looks like it might want to drop down into this area. Yeah, that looks like it's very to fall. So I don't think there's a buy here at this point. Um, I also don't really want to take a short on it. I don't know why, but I just don't want to take a short on it. All right, so I don't, I don't see anything right here. I think it, I think it may.
pull down, come back up, and then come down again. And then you could trade that counter trend line break as the price move, moved up. But it looks like we may want to come down here. You know, you've got VWAP here, and you've got the bottom of the band on the five minute. That's all going to be support. These 60 minute candles, these long pin bars are, are looking like we're rejecting these higher prices. Um, so I don't see a trade right here. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to wait. This may want to come down and hit VWAP. So we're going to wait. Uh, didn't take anything on that one. I think we're going to drop a little bit more. We may want to come down here and test the band value area low. And uh, we'll just wait and see what happens. So this is looking like a good buy down here. We've got some delta divergence going on where we've got price moving lower, um, but delta making um, lower highs. So delta's you know making or higher higher lows. I'm sorry. And we're at the bottom of this kind of short term range. So I should be buying it down here and trying to get out up here. Um, I'm I'm protecting my my profit a little bit at this point, which is a bad sign. I'm trading my PL. I don't want to take a loss. Price spikes down here, and then I take a loss. The way that I normally trade um, is I would um, buy it um, as we broke this high and take this right here. Um, this is just my style of trading, even though this doesn't, I should be buying it right here and then add to it up here. Um, I'm seeing the bands pinching in here unfortunately on the one minute and we've also got the value area high up here so I'm just not seeing much of a trade I should buy this right now um, and I'm just not doing it because I'm trading my P&L um, it's 1008 and I don't want to take a loss um, right now um, on something like this because I think price could drop down to this to this lower band or even test VWAP so my stop you know, would be here, but I think this is also support. So this looks like a buy. I should be buying it right here and taking it up to 95. Um, I might take that. I'm gonna see if it comes up and then pushes back a little bit. This exit would be at like 92, so it'd be five points. Um, while I'm trying to watch this here I don't know it may just go on me real quick pop up you know I just can't bring myself to buy it I can't I, I really just can't bring myself to take a loss this thing is just moving so choppy and slow that I could see it you know rolling down coming back down here testing maybe popping down here and then coming back up the way that I normally would trade it would be a tr you know would be buy it right here at the break and then it should just pop up and we're just not getting those pops um, anymore there's just no momentum going through on it I think this is a buy though um, now it looks like it's about to roll over so I'd, I'd be nervous right here uh, this is not a good candle on the five minute if we came down here a little bit lower I don't know maybe I'd buy it down there Uh, let's see what happens with it. I've only got about 20 more minutes before I'm probably going to call it a day. So this will probably be my last trade of the day if this trade goes through. Um, this The price looks like it. In this one minute, you've got this reversal. Uh, we've got this bearish candle. Price should want to continue to drop down here. But if we break higher above this, it's going to open up this area. Um, and it should be a quick pop. I'm watching Delta down here. Well, now that I look at Delta, it looks like this may not be the best trade, actually. We're, 
making kind of lows here on the lower lows. We've got a bullish candle on the five minute up here. And we are really stretched on the one hour. We're outside the band on the one hour. I don't know if this is a good trade or not. It's 1026. I'm about ready to cancel it and just take that 266 profit on the day. It's moving so slow here. I think this was a trade we were looking at before, or maybe it was over here, I can't remember, but when this was all consolidating here and we saw Delta moving up, moving up, um, and we just didn't take it. So I'm having a little bit of FOMO because I missed out on that trade. Um, and I don't know about this one. Well, let's see what happens with it. Let's see if we get a pop on it. get out of there. So what happened was it took my profit and then um, I had manually tried to close it here. So I took my profit and I think one, uh, half a second later I shorted it because it, it sold a contract and then I told it to sell another one. So anyway, we're at 352 on the day and that's probably going to be my day, 352. I got too jumpy on this. I saw it kind of stuttering. I was like, ah, just get out. Um, because I really didn't want to take a loss, but so 352 on the day. We can pull up our trade. Ooh, I lost ten dollars on that last trade. So shoot. Well, not the last one. I mean, the one that I messed up on down here. So what happened was it the price. I had a sell order up here, which was my take profit. Um, and if I just would have left it, it would have gone through. But instead it took it, and then at the exact same time, I manually tried to close the position, and I shorted one contract. I ended up shorting a contract, and then I just closed out of that because I didn't really want to short it, and so I lost 10 bucks on it. So we took overall five trades today. The last one was a loser, only because I messed up on the, on the exit. Um, so 352.60 on the day. Should have been 362, but that's all right. And uh, I'll take it. Right now it is 10.29 a.m. And that's all I'm going to trade for today. So I really appreciate you watching. Watching this, we're right at value area high here too. This thing's just going to kind of chop around. We're probably going to move back down to VWAP eventually. May come back up here, but that was going to be the last trade. Um, really appreciate you watching. Um, if you got any value out of this, I'd really appreciate you subscribing. Um, I've said it before, I'm going to start live streaming next week. Um, on June 8th in the morning. Live streams for me, I've watched some other people live stream. They're kind of boring because you've got to just sit there through all the trades. I kind of like it better when you can fast forward to the to the um, you know trades and just kind of see, see how they do it. But uh, we'll try live streaming and see how that works. Um, if we get in any traction with viewers, then we'll keep doing it. If not, we'll just come back to doing these types of videos. So I hope you got some value out of this. Um, please subscribe, like, all that stuff, and I'll be back again tomorrow. Thanks.